Good morning, everyone. I'm just going for a quick round around the block. Um, uh, around a few blocks, actually. With my coffee. Um, it's not full, though, so I don't spill it. The moon's still up. Where is it? Can you see it? come on to the story to share my really good experience with a company called Naveo. Naveo is a mobile app that helps creating a monthly paper journal gathering your family pictures for your parents or grandparents who might have a harder time handling social network or smartphone or simply live far away. Basically you um, download their app, it's called Naveo, and you upload some photos to their website and then uh, once a month they will convert those photos into a beautiful photo album and then they will send that photo album directly to the person that you have nominated in my case it's my mum like my mum doesn't have internet and she doesn't even have a smartphone so it makes it very hard to send uh, photos to her so I thought this would be perfect so um, I decided that I'm going to go ahead with the collaboration um, and when she got it, she rave about it. I cannot get her off the phone. Um, she loves the photo album. She's saying how good the photo quality that has been printed on the photo album and the photo album itself is very good quality. If you're in the same um, situation as me where you live abroad and away from your parents, if you want to check out Naveo, um, you are welcome to use my discount code that Naveo has given me. I hope you benefit from it and thanks for listening. Bye! Good morning guys. This morning I woke up really early. Um, it's because I received an exciting package on the mail yesterday. Basically I bought magnifying glasses from Amazon and I really want to play with it. I use them when I'm working on some detailed craft like um, my tree of life or uh, my uh, polymer clay mug. You know when I'm doing the really small ones like the earrings and things. Um, this is why I bought this for. Um, so I don't have to keep using Todd's um, old reading glasses. <laughs> um, this one's pretty cool. It has lights. It's actually $35 from Amazon with free shipping. It's really good quality and the reviews is amazing on Amazon. That's why I bought it. You can recharge the, um, the batteries for the torch, which is great. And also come with um, five different lenses, all different um, strength. So the weakest power is one, and it goes up all the way to 3.5. That's the 3.5 I'm holding. It's very thick. It's a really good quality, actually. It, it feels really heavy when you hold it. And that's the weakest one, which is um, one. So you just slot it in there. 
and I'm actually now testing it by reading a really small print on the instruction leaflet. The writing in that instruction booklet is really small. I can't even see it with my normal glasses. So I'm just testing it, see if I can see it. So being 3.5, I have to have the paper really close up. Yeah, I'm just testing the torch. It's pretty bright actually, so it's pretty, I'm pretty impressed. So now I'm testing the weakest of the strength. So this is um, the strength of one. I want to see how close I have to have the, the object that you're looking at. So as you can see here, I can actually put it almost uh, much closer to the table than to my eyes, which is good. Because when you're working on your craft, you don't want to have to be holding it up cl too close to your eyes all the time. Yeah, this is me just showing you how to put it on the glasses and then how it looks on. I like this one because you can still wear your normal glasses. Other brand, they f force you to actually take off your normal glasses. So yeah, this is 10 out of 10, guys. Later on in the day, I went to Spotlights and then I went to Woolies to do my weekly grocery shopping. Uh, I just need to go to um, Spotlight to get some wool. Um, but while I'm there, I saw this really cute dollhouse that you can make yourself. And this is of a coffee shop. Oh, look how detailed it is. I love it. I was so wanted to buy it there and then until I saw the price. It's $65. So you know what I did after that? I went to eBay when I get home and then I bought it from eBay for $37 including delivery. So yeah, don't buy it from Spotlight guys. But do buy the wool though, they're 40% off right now. Um, they have all sorts of different ones. This one is the flower shop one, which is also cute. But I'm stuck on the coffee shop one because I plan on putting it on a timber shelf above my coffee station. And from Spotlight, I went to Woolies and get my groceries. And then I went home and did a grocery haul for you. I just got back from Woolies and this is what I bought. Cost me $208, I think, for all of that. I'm just going to um, do this quickly. I don't want to bore you to death. So, um, yeah. Red. <laughs> um, yeah. I bought um, two loaves. One to freeze and one to live outside. And that's sourdough. That's a must-have for the freezer. Um, got a new wok. There's um, the old one's got um, thrown away. That's my toilet roll, sorbent, it's the cheapest and the softest. Um, that's Todd's um, orange and passion fruit juice. Um, yeah, can't find my oat milk, the normal one that I buy. Can't remember, you know, the other um, grey one. Um, so I'm giving this one a go. I um, hope it's okay, don't know. And it's light, don't know. Yeah. Potatoes, peas. Baby peas, I don't buy normal peas. And this down tomatoes, cucumber, onion, baby carrot, banana. Uh, this is, yeah, this is good stuff. Char siu sauce, char siu sauce. Got two of those, and poison sauce. These two are for my um, chicken wings that I make a lot for Jason and Isabel. Spicy red sauce, it tastes like tomato sauce but a little bit spicy. Um, steak sauce. Oh, this, this one I, I've never bought before. Um, yeah, instant noodle with roast pork. And this one is roast beef. This I don't normally buy but um, it's decaf. So I still get to use my, um, my coffee maker. When, even if I feel like having them late in the day, you know. Um, 
chai tea spice. That's just um, for flavoring. And then caramel. And this one is chocolate. Um, hummus. Roasted pumpkin hummus. Strong and bitey vintage sliced cheese. Plastic cheese. Sugar free wafers. That's for me. That's for when I feel like something sweet. Louise, don't kill me. Yes, I buy sugar free. Um, this one, we're going to have it right now. See? The oven is on. We're going to have this. Um, Aldi used to sell them. But we can never get them from anywhere else. So, salt and salt and vinegar chicken tenders. Yeah. Um, so, and waffles. And oak. It is oak, not oak. It's oak. Yeah. Oak. That's for Todd. Um, so, yeah. Oh, I finished um, filming before, but Todd said I forgot to mention the sardine. Yeah, this is the sardine that I got for the dogs. Um, strawberries. This one. Oh, look. It looks pretty dark. And it's $1.50 on sale. So, I bought two. And I bought two ginger kisses. Because one is just not enough. <laughs> okay. I think that's all. Right, now I've got to put all this stuff away. Bye. I also went to Spotlight today and this is what I got for more wool. They're 40% off right now. Yeah, because um, winter's um, coming to an end. So I guess they're doing their end of winter sale. There you go, guys. That's for me to finish my, um, my rainbow blanket. Mmm, salt and vinegar chicken tenders. Yummy. Good morning, guys. How are you doing? Um, I thought we'd do something a little bit different um, today. Straight after this, I'm going to get my jewelry box from my bedroom. And then we're going to go through it. Basically, I need to get rid of the old jewelry that I made or bought and haven't worn for a long time. So I'm not going to um, bore you with the whole cleaning process. I'm just going to pop in every now and then and show you um, the one that I thought you might be interested in. Okay, bye. Here's the inside of my jewelry cupboard. So I'm going to go through with all of this and then I'm going to throw away the one that I'm not going to use anymore. Let's begin. It's a really old one, but I can't throw it away because um, Louise gave it to me when she went on Fijian holiday, I think. I'm not sure. And this I really like. The bead is actually from Venice. I really like this. I don't know if you can see them clearly or not. Yeah, how beautiful is this? Look, I love it. I still wear this. This is one of my favorite one. I, I wear them quite a lot. Um, that's also another ASOS purchase. This, I wore this to a Christmas do once. I'm gonna put this on the bottom actually. This is cute. You've seen this in another video actually. This is made by this woman in Kalinga. This is actually polymer clay before I discovered polymer <laughs> clay myself. Um, this woman in Kalinga, she made this and th that's how I discovered polymer clay and decided to um, make my own stuff. But I still love this. This is 20 years old. This is one of the first pieces I made. This is now very um, tarnished, but when it was on its heyday, it's very nice. This is an oldie but goodie. <laughs> uh, I made this for two people actually. 
Some people might have recognized this. I'll keep that. Oh my goodness, this is from my auntie um, Yossi, if you're watching this. It's actually my wedding present from your mum. Uh, I don't like wearing them as a necklace. It looks a bit too, um, I don't know, <laughs> posh. So I turned this into um, this bracelet. This is actually a present from Lupi, my Indonesian best friend. She got me this, so yeah. So out there, isn't it? And this one here is a rock that Jason found on the way home from school. So I wire wrapped it. I can't throw this away because um, Jason found the rock. <laughs> it's actually made out of um, little tiny beads. And every bit of this is um, woven together. It was fun to do. All right, this is my favorite that I wear all the time so they don't live there. This is um, another black opal from Todd. Oh, beautiful, this one. Love it, and it's rose gold. So um, I, I wear this a lot, so it doesn't really live in the jewelry box. Um, this is the two um, bird. This is out of um, polymer clay that I made um, of king parrot. So that's the male king parrot, and this is a female king parrot. So yeah, I might put this in here now I have room. We went through everything. Well, that's it. That's the end of me cleaning up my jewelry box. Um, I'm going to have to put them back in the bedroom now. And thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye. What are you making, Todd? Chinese chicken and oyster sauce. All the sauces we need for the chicken in oyster sauce. Sesame oil to fry up the chicken. And then next. Yeah, because it takes long to cook. And the rest, onion and carrot. So just give the onion a couple of minutes first. And the carrot. The snack beans. No, they're not. They're snow peas. Oh, sorry, yeah. Snow peas. Zucchini. Zucchini. And then capsicum. And then capsicum. They go in last. Yep. And we put the sauce on. We don't want to overcook the capsicum. No, so you leave that on top till you get the sauce in. Okay. And that's how much sauce. Uh, garlic. Two heat teaspoons. Yep. And you go. One heat teaspoon. Yep. That's it, isn't it? That's it. Just need some water. Now well, we have put some water in. Um, where the sauce is coming from. So we just need a little bit more. Got a bit of corn flour in it, just to thicken it up. One teaspoon with one cup of water. So 
Just let that cook until it um, thickens up, starts to stick. How do you know it's done? Well, once it's this colour now, okay. and it's translucent, the sauce is done. Yep. All the veggies and that, that's it. You don't, you don't need to cook them too much longer. Yeah. Um, because then they'll go soft and soggy. You still want a bit of a, a bit of a crunch to your veggies. That's it. Mm. Okay. Thanks, my dad. Mmm. Very yummy. Soft. Yeah. Good afternoon everyone. Good afternoon everyone. How are you doing? Good afternoon everyone. How are you doing? Good afternoon everyone. How are you doing? Good afternoon everyone. Todd's making chicken and oyster sauce. Chinese chicken and oyster sauce. Chicken. Chinese chicken and oyster sauce. Chicken. <laughs> <laughs> what are you making, Todd? Chinese chicken and oyster sauce. <laughs> chicken. 